It was Valentine's Day and I was a live-in caregiver. I covered the second shift and that meant having the morning open for any Valentine's Day activities. My hopes rose. Could this be the day that I found true love? Random thoughts regarding the possibility of true love passed through my mind. Then I looked gratefully around my room as I listened to the AM caregiver talking to our client named Ronald. He was a complete quad. There was no movement in his body from the neck down. I should just be thankful, I thought. If I, since I have use of my limbs and a place to stay, Valentine's Day expectations are foolish. Why, I wouldn't even dare talk to the Lord about my need to feel special. How vain, how vain, I thought. After all, there are clearly more pressing needs all around me, more pressing needs all over the world. In the midst of my thoughts, I finally got ready and making my way out of the room, I passed a mirror, not wanting to think about what I would see or what others would see. I took a quick, very quick glance as I exited. Speaking my farewells, I got into my car and drove to a city about 15 miles away. It was downtown Covina. This seemed to be a nice place to spend Valentine's Day. I parked close to the downtown strip and I began to stroll unexpectedly into the shopping area. It was a cool, crisp morning, not too late, as I recall. It must have been just before noon. I strolled unexpectedly along the sidewalk. There were many things that happened that morning, however. I cannot recall much of the morning. I couldn't tell you where I parked or how long I was in the area. I can only tell you that I had a strong impression to go into this used bookstore. I was accustomed to these kinds of impressions. They usually led to a divine appointment. I began to think that maybe the Lord would give me a divine appointment for Valentine's Day. So I went into the bookstore and walked around. I visited the books on the old, I visited the shelves of old books. And at the same time, I kept my heart open for further directives. I didn't see anyone and nothing jumped out at me. So, feeling a little disappointed, I quietly asked the Lord, why am I here? What did you want me to do or see? There was no response, no further impressions at all. So I turned to walk out of the used bookstore. At the end of the counter, just before I walked out, was a tiny little book. The title was, This is Your Day.